Happy Tuesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome back to another great day of teaching and learning where we will build our brilliance. Because every day we are working towards being brilliant Bobcats. Today, we are going to make sure that we are raising the bar and making every moment matter. Let's go ahead and get started with our morning announcements. I'll see you soon. Sydney Fields Elementary students and staff, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, uh, the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual for, with liberty and justice for all. Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership. In my actions, I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of difference. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, scholars, if you are new to the hill, I just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year, we have just because treat days. So you must always follow our three school wide rules, which are to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn because you never know if this day is a treat day. Today's 3R approach spotlight goes to our grade two scholars. Look at this line. It goes all the way down the hall. And if you look at the floor, you will see that these scholars in both second grade classes are standing in their blocks. They were not making a sound, and today they are being spotlighted for being respectful and responsible. Keep up the great work. In our school wide events and activities, scholars, this is just a reminder that on Friday we will have our next 20 day attendance reward. For the first semester, we had an attendance rate of 93%. So on Friday, we will be having a jeans or jogging suit day. Which will you wear? Will you have a combination of jeans and jogging suit? Or will you just choose to wear all jeans? There's a jean jacket or a jean shirt with some uh, of your favorite pair of jeans, or will you wear your favorite jogging suit? Will it represent a NFL team, a basketball team, or just have your favorite colors? Whichever you choose, it's up to you. We can't wait to see what you wear. In our 
other school wide events and activities. Second quarter report cards will come out on next Wednesday. And because we are getting our report cards, you know that it is time for us to gear up for our next honors program, which will take place on next Friday. Now, because we have so many awards to give out, we are breaking our programs into two pieces. At 8.45 in the morning, grades K, 1, and 2 will receive their awards in the cafeteria. And after the lunch period ends, at 1.45, we will give awards to our scholars in grades 3 through 5. So scholars, make sure that you tell your parents that honors program will take place on next Friday. And we will send a flyer home on tomorrow to break down the times for parents. In other school-wide events and activities, scholars, on next Monday, we will be out of school. Why, you may be asking yourself, because we will be celebrating the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Now, later on in the week, you will find out why we have this national holiday. But as if that was not enough wonderful things going on during our four-day week next week, next week we will also celebrate the 100th day of school. Now, scholars, I will not let you know right at this moment which day will be the 100th day, but I want to make sure that our teachers are preparing activities for you to do on this special day. Today, we have four scholars to celebrate. It was on this day that Elijah Woods, Jadora Davis, Alirica Johnson, and Corinne Brooks were born. Elijah, Jadora, Alirica, and Corinne, we are so excited to have you with us today at the Hill to celebrate just a piece of of your special day with you and we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile now scholars when you see elijah jador alirica or korean in the hallway cafeteria even if you don't see them until they are on their way to the supporter specialty classes or being dismissed from school this afternoon, be sure to give them a Bobcat birthday shout out. Now, for those of you in the room with them right now, help me wish them a very special birthday wish by turning and pointing to Elijah, Jador, Alirica, and Corinne and saying happy birthday. Today's classroom spotlight goes to our great K scholars in Miss Dickens class. 
on last week when we began our semester. I walked in to Miss Dickens' classroom to find these scholars creating anchor charts. They were writing their letters, their numbers, their sight words, adding pictures. It was amazing to watch them create charts that their classmates could use to review what they learned during the first semester. This is a great example of what it means to be ready to learn. Awesome job. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. And we are going to get this up today. We have been doing most of the but today you must be ready. Today I have a little addition. Sit back and have a little bit of a pain. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a reminder to increase that. Increase that. Increase that. Increase that. Increase that. Increase that. Increase if you remembered our rule about zeros. I hope you did not allow Miss White to trick you because I made it a bigger number. Remember, it doesn't matter how big it is. If you're multiplying by zero, the answer will always be zero. 75 plus 6. 81, you are on a row. Now remember, when you have an addition fact such as this one, you can use our strategy of counting on to be able to find this answer in three seconds or less. Let's do it. Let's count on from 75 at 6 until we get to our answer. And here we go. 76. 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, and we are there. Great job. Let's see which grade four scholars will be inducted into one of our proficiency clubs today. In grade four reading, our brilliant Bobcats are Roman Perry and Leara Smith. Our rising stars in grade four reading are Trinity Edgerson, Jacob Bonner, Caden Curry, Clifton Dunn, LaCorian Pipkin, William Hughes, James Hawkins, and Peyton Newburn. Our double digit scholars in grade four reading are Denisha Alford, Treshawn Billingsley, Caleb Butler, Kariah Byers, Audrey Willis, Jakiria Fleming, Keelan Lindsay, Frederick Newburn, Ariel Young, Nakia Rainey, Chase Williams, Leah Collins, Ember Glover, Abdiel Granados, Macarius Holmes, Malachi McKay, and Austin Jones. In grade four mathematics, our brilliant bobcats are Caden Curry, Peyton Newburn, Roman Perry, and Audrey Willis. Our grade four math rising stars are Amber Glover, James Hawkins, Tiara Richardson, Sereni Sandoval, and Jakaya Young. Our grade four double digit scholars are Clinton Dunn, William Hughes, Alaska Island, LaCorian Pipkin, Leara Smith, and Ariel Young. Grade four scholars, if you heard your name today, know that you are out of uniform until next Wednesday, 
January the 17th. Congratulations. Our students in the spotlight. Today we are shining a light on scholars who served as safety specialists and office helpers on yesterday. Scholars, we are so proud of each of you and thankful for you always being willing to lend a helping hand. In our national holidays, scholars, today we have a very fun holiday. Today is Static Electricity Day. In honor of today's national holiday, your question is, have you ever experienced static electricity? Take a look at the picture on the screen. What do you think caused that? Teachers, see if any of the students have experienced something like this photo. Today's read aloud is entitled, The Monster Above the Bed. Now scholars, we often hear stories about the monster under the bed. But have you ever thought about what a monster thinks about you? We talk about point of view of a story that's who is telling the story. Today's story is told from the monster's point of view. What do you think will happen in our story? Teachers, today's read aloud is 13 minutes and 5 seconds long. In addition to our read aloud, we have our numbers one through five, dance and learn for our pre-K and K scholars. We have our magic E review for our scholars in grades one and two. We have our syllable division for our scholars in grade three. And we have our wind. Where does wind come from for our scholars in grades four and five? Now, scholars, today we are slated to have winds up to 50 miles per hour. So we will be having indoor recess because I don't want any of us to blow away. So today you have two choices for your brain break. Okay. So your brain break and indoor recess today. The first one you have is a would you rather food edition. I can't wait to see if the red Takis or the blue Takis will be the favorite for a school-wide. You also have a fortnight exercise or dance. Scholars, I know indoor recess is not um your favorite thing but we want to make sure that no one gets sick um as the weather will be a little bit chilly and wet on this day and throughout this week so um we whenever possible you know we'd love to go outside but today might not be the best day for it but today might be a treat day because you never know We'll be looking for scholars who are following the 3R approach. Yesterday was a pretty good day. So today might be a day for us to treat you for treating us right. We can't wait to see what you are learning. We'll be around soon. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats. Because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.